What's up everyone? Today we're going to solve a number three problem and for some of you, you perhaps can actually find a similar problem online. Uh, this is actually uh, from uh, Panam exam in 2018, but the problem was a little bit different. The original problem has the left hand side being the same, but the right hand side became uh, 3 over 2018. And as you can see in math competitions, if they have problems, especially for number theory problems, they will love using the number of the year as part of the problem. So today I decided to change it to 2022 because this is um, the number of this year. But 2022 is in fact a multiple of three. So I also need to change the numerator a little bit in order to uh, make the setup a little bit difficult. So in solve 3, we're going to have 5. And if you have already known the trick of solving this kind of problem, great. If not, let's continue and follow from this video. So of course, as a number 3 problem, we don't assume x and y to be any arbitrary real numbers. In fact, we will actually limit it down to natural numbers. And in here, when I say natural numbers, I do not include 0. But in this situation, it doesn't really matter because if we assume x or y being 0, we will end up with 1 over 0 on the left hand side, which is undefined. Anyway, to solve this kind of problem, what we would like to do is first we will try to get rid of the fractions because we would love to make it into integers or in fact the natural numbers so that we will be able to use the ideas in number theory to help us getting the answer quickly. So to do that, we need to find out the common denominator, which is 2022xy. By multiplying that, we get 2022 times y plus x equals 5xy. And later on, we will actually switch the order of x, plus, uh, x and y. And we see that x and y are actually playing the same role, so it doesn't really matter which goes first, which goes second. But this is not done yet because we would like to collect everything into one side so that we end up with 5xy minus 2022 times the quantity x plus y equals 0. So here is a trick. If we want to solve this kind of problem as a number theory problem, we would like to make one side, especially the side with variables, into, uh, into factors, meaning that we will have something times something. But clearly right now we cannot really factor anything as there's a five here and we cannot distribute a five into the x plus y term in the middle. What do we do? We are going to multiply the whole equation by five and again, in general, we will just multiply some positive numbers such that on the first term here, the leading coefficient will end up with a square. Why? Because now we can rewrite it as 5x times 5y. And again, the reason we would like to split the uh, the coefficients into uh, into two parts evenly is because we know that x and y are actually playing the same role and in other words it doesn't matter what x is or what y is we know that once we get a value of x and y we'll be able to get a different uh, different pair of answer by switching the value of x and y and therefore we want to end up with something that actually looks almost identical. So in this case, we would like to have 5x at the, the 5 attaching to x and the 5 attaching to y at the same time. Then for a middle term, we will have minus 2022 times, and I'm going to distribute the 5 into the x plus y term so that we get 5x plus 5y. Good, but of course we're missing something here. And again, we need to figure out what we're missing here in order to 
you know, in order to factor out the left hand side. And by doing that, we would like to have the factorial form being like this 5x plus or minus in this case, because we have a minus sign here, something times 5y minus something. And why do we like to do that? Because now if we write it like this and try to fold it back out, we'll be able to match the first term. And then we will try to match the outer term and the inner term as we already have 5x and then we have a 5y here. So if we, uh, if we want to match the two terms, the outer term and the inner term, we need 5x times negative 2022 so that we will be able to get the first part. And then we have plus and turns into minus 5y times 2022, meaning that we'll end up with this. And again, this is very, uh, this is a little bit tricky. I should say very, uh, uh, for people who are not familiar with it, because if we don't think of the next step yet, we, it is very hard to see where this comes from. But if we try to consider what we want in the next step, we'll be able to generate back from the previous step. But as we see, this is not the same as the step above. As we foil it out, we need to multiply the last terms in each factor, but that will give us plus the constant term, which is what we're missing here. So to fix that, for the previous step, we now need to add the constant term back, which is plus 2022 times itself, which is a squared. As we do it on the left hand side, of course, we need to do the same thing on the right hand side so that we're not going to change the value of the equation. Good. So now we actually get the left hand side done. For the right hand side, we have zero plus this, which is of course just 2022 squared. Then since this is a number theory problem, we would like to use a unique prime factorization to figure out what are the prime factors of it and how many copies of each prime factors we have. Then the fact, it, here is the fact of 2022. 2022 is actually made out of three different prime factors and each prime factor has only one copy in it, which will be two times three times 337. And since we have 2022 squared, we just need to square all the prime factors. Excellent. <clears throat> so now we just need to figure out what we can do from the left hand side. And again, X and Y are playing the same role. So the factors 5X minus 2022 and 5Y minus 2022 will actually share the same property. Therefore, we just need to look at one of the factors and then we'll be able to tell what happened to the other factors as well. So let's take a look to the first factor, 5X minus 2022. As we can see, x as a natural number, 5x is a multiple of 5. So in this case, what we are going to do is we're going to find out the remainder after the whole thing divided by 5. And in fact, we will actually get 5x minus 2022 is congruent to 3 mod 5, which means the same thing as remainder 3 after dividing by 5. And if you don't believe it, you can actually think it this way. On the left hand side, we can try to fill up the 2022 into a multiple of 5, which the closest would be 2025. But as we put 2025 here, we actually need something extra in order to not change the value. In this case, we need to add a 3 back. And therefore, if we look at the first two terms here, we see that it is a multiple of 5, meaning after we divide by 5, the remainder is equal to zero. And then three is of course just a three. So the remainder will be zero plus three, which is three. And that's how we know that the factor here is congruent to three mod five. And why does it matter? 
because if we know that the first factor is multiple uh, is congruent to three mod five, and uh, as well as the second factor, on the right hand side we now need to break it into so, uh, something times something. Let's call it a and b, so that both a and b are also congruent to three mod five, meaning that after divide by five, a has a remainder of three, as well as b. So to do that. We need to figure out what are the possible factors of this term here. Since each prime factor has, uh, has a degree of 2, meaning that we will actually have 3 options for each prime number, then in total we will have 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 different options or 27 factors for 2022 squared. But as we can see, not all the factors are congruent to 3 mod 5. For example, if we just consider 2 squared, which is equal to 4, 4 is not the same as 3 mod 5, meaning that 4 does not have a remainder of 3 after divide by 5, as well as 1, which is a factor of all integers. Clearly, 1 is just equal to 1 or congruent to 1 mod 5, because again, 1 is smaller than any other natural numbers and if we try to divide it we will get zero remainder one therefore we need to figure out what factors will actually provide us remainder three so if we go out uh, all the possible cases we actually end up with the six different situations we will have three is uh, congruent to three mod five of course Meaning that 2022 squared divided by 3 must be also be a multiple, uh, must also be congruent to 3 mod 5. And that is 2 squared times 3 times 337 squared. And the second case would be 2 times 3 squared, which is equal to 18. That is congruent to 3 mod 5. Again, if we divide by 5, we will actually get 3 remainder 3, which is what we want. Then this is a uh, is a congruent to, uh, is congruent to 3 mod 5, which is a factor that we want, meaning that the remaining part 2 times 337 squared will also be uh, a factor that we need. Last but not least, we have Let's see, we will actually get, um, let's see, what do we want? We get 2 squared times 337. Okay, so, so we can actually check it quickly. 337 is congruent to 2, or remainder is 2, so times 4 gives us remainder 8, but if we reduce it again, it will be, uh, it will be remainder three, which is what we want, and times three hundred and thirty-seven, three square. Okay, good. So these are the six possible factors that we have, and therefore, as we try to solve the problem, we will actually get six different cases, and I'm going to list out the first case, uh, the first two cases which would be, now we're going to assume that 5x minus 2022 be the first factor 3. Then for the other factor, 5y minus 2022, it, will, it must be equal to the other factor that's pairing with 3. So that the product will be equal to what we want, 2022 squared. Okay. Or for example, if 5x minus 2022 is equal to 2 times 337 squared, then what, um, 5y minus 2022, the other term, has to be equal to 2 times 3 squared. So on and so forth. And we'll actually get six different uh, linear, uh, linear equation systems. Good. If we solve for each system, we'll be able to get the answer pair that we want. For example, the first pair will be 
Let's see, for x, we're going to add the 2022 on the left hand side and then divide by 5. So we get 2022 plus the right hand side, the factor we choose 3 divided by 5. Where y will just be similar. We still have 2022 being added on to the right hand side plus the factor that we have chosen, uh, which is in this case 2 times. 2 or 2 squared times 3 times 337 squared, all divided by 5. And that will give us one pair of the answer. And then as we go through the whole process, we'll be able to get all six pairs. But again, when we go through all six pairs, we will see that the last three pairs will actually look similar to the first three pairs, except the values of x and y are actually swapped. Meaning, as we set 3 to be uh, equal to 5y minus 2022, we will actually get 5, uh, 5x minus 2022 be equal to 2 squared times 3 times 337 squared, which actually will end up with the form that looks like the first case, except, again, x and y will actually have the values switched with each other like this and again that will be all the cases six different pairs that's it i think this problem is actually pretty cool when i try to um make it up myself because this actually will um, give us a big idea of how to solve such kind of number theory problem in general, as well as trying to see uh, uh, how we can actually play around with the fraction on the right hand side. We can try different things, something that doesn't need to be too complicated. We can just try something that is, let's say, the denominator has only two digits, and then the numerator is, of course, something that it's not too big and again when i say not too big i also mean that um first of all it has to, uh, it needs to be not bigger than the denominator and secondly we also want to have the numerator being uh relatively prime or uh meaning that it has no common factor with the denominator other than plus or minus one Otherwise, we'll just reduce it first before we do the problem anyway. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel so that you can find out more of my other videos. And if you don't want to miss out any of my new videos, you can also need to turn on the notification. If you have any thoughts or comments that you want to uh, talk about, you can just leave and if you uh and if you have any thoughts or ideas you want to talk about you can leave your comments below i will see you guys in the next video